Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today we're going to be replacing the slats for our bed support. So this is what the mattress will ultimately be on. You can see how flimsy the old ones were as we put them side by side. We went and got some really nice 2x6s. Uh, so we secured this uh, and got it nice bundled together and tightened into the truck so it wouldn't come out. So just be safe as you're transporting this. As you see, this was uh, larger than the truck bed, so we have our red flag out the back. And so just be safe as you're getting it home. Uh, next, we're going to come over and grab our circular saw. So this is a battery-powered one, and uh, we also want to make sure we have the other proper safety equipment, including our safety glasses and gloves and everything like that. And if you check the video description, I have some more videos showing how to use some of these. But we'll get our straight edge here. We have our tape measure. And so what we needed to do first is measure from side to side on the bed. The old slats were about 77 and a half inches. So we went ahead and marked that with our straight edge and just came in with our circular saw and where it says zero on the side, that's where we're going, going to be cutting. So make sure you get the saw up to speed before you come in with the cutting it and then go ahead and cut it. Next we came in and uh, we had to remove these bunky boards out of the way and uh, you can see how flimsy these slats were. I'm surprised none of them were even broken. Ours had some hardware so we went ahead and removed that. This happened to be an Allen so it just depends on it, what you currently have in place. And so ours also has uh, these supports here on the bottom and so I'll show you how we'll retrofit those onto the new boards a little bit later. So our first board went right into place and sometimes the bed has to be twisted slightly back and forth to get it to be even on all sides. And with these extra supports, these ones unthreaded. So uh, they do have some metal threads down in here we will not be using. Again, I'll show you what we do to retrofit these. We just want to make sure that the height is going to be okay, that it's not going to make it stick up too much. Um, so as you can see that's how far we're going to have to eventually drill into the new boards. So side by side you can see the huge difference this is making. Uh, so we just came through and cut these. Now on this last board we found the medium right in the middle there and we're taking our sawzall and what we're going to do is just notch this uh, board just because we have drawers at the end of the bed and so with those drawers uh, it had a high spot so we just had to kind of make some clearance so we just kind of drilled straight down and then diagonally a little bit left and right nothing even too um, major here you could use some other tools that would make a nicer more clean cut uh, but as you can see the whole idea here is we just uh, put a little notch in it so that it can fit down on the bed now what we want to do with these supports and I'll show you an example on this is get a drill bit that's slightly smaller and then we're just going to put a little pilot hole into it. So this is what you would be doing on all your boards right in the middle. And that way we can just put this in and thread it in. And so it will make its new threads as we push it in and twist it. And so that will stay in place. So we just went back through and did that. This would have been better to do outside. We had to shop back the pieces. Uh, but basically we just put a small hole in each of these and then put our a little support down in there and twisted it until it made its way in so it's okay to have a smaller drill bit so that it uh, will bite down in there and so we just did that all the way through and this turned out really nice we had so much more support on this the bed felt a lot better and uh, I got a lot of much better sleep out of it just having a, a more a firm thing you can imagine the mattress and everything's not sagging like it was on those other boards so I went ahead and put our bunky boards back on and uh, you can see the slats underneath it are much better so anyway thanks for watching please check the video description I have other videos that are similar to this if you're new to the channel feel free to subscribe thanks guys